everyone. In today's video, we're going to be talking about different curling irons and different types of curls that you can get with the curling irons that I have and what I use in the salon. If it's your first time here, my name is Lena and I'm a haircutting specialist and I will soon be launching an online platform where I will be doing some hair education. So if you are interested in learning more about hair, especially if you're a makeup artist and you want to learn about hair or you want to learn how to work with different textures or if you're an aspiring hairstylist and you just want to learn styling, you don't want to go to hair school, make sure you go to my website and sign up to the mailing list and as soon as they are going to be available you will be notified but in today's video we're going to be talking about different curling irons and the different types of curls that you can get with different curling irons and what I use in the salon so it's going to be a pretty short video so the first curling iron that I want to start off with is I think the one that everybody gravitates towards so this one is a one inch curling iron and I think this is the most popular size and this is actually the biggest mistake that you're making if you're trying to get beach waves so the brand that I always go to is hot tools I like hot tools because it's 24 karat gold plated. I find that the hair just comes out really smooth. It comes out really shiny. I like that they have the top over here where you can hold the hair while I'm working. So this is a great brand. It lasts literally forever. The heat goes up to 430 degrees, not 450. So it's not burning your hair, burning your client's hair if you're a stylist. I love this size for shorter hairs. So if my hair was like, like a pixie bob kind of thing or like a graduated bob, this would be perfect. If you're wearing like a longer pixie, this is a great size but I think the biggest mistake that we make is we go for this size when we want to create beach waves and then we're like why are why is my hair coming out so ringlety if your hair is coming out really tight and ringlety and you're not getting that beautiful beach wave like mine if you want to do these curls make sure you check out the video I'll link it below I just filmed the whole tutorial on how to do beach waves for my hair which same techniques that you could use for longer hair of course but we use a different size for that we use the one inch and a quarter for beach waves this is the secret sauce you guys this is the secret size for creating the perfect beach waves some curling irons come in like a longer like length so that it takes in all of the hair if you, especially if you have really long hair and you have really beautiful balayage and you want to do you want to really create a beautiful wave on your hair I find that the longer ones are great I like these because they're compact I do a lot of traveling and I also sometimes do bridal so if I need to go to a client's house or anything I make sure that I just use the smaller ones for beach waves get the one inch inch and a quarter it honestly doesn't matter what brand you use you can use chi um, you can get a wand if you like but the thing is with a wand is you can't really do a flat wrap the way you can with something like this where you have that the flap where you can actually put the hair inside and then close it and that will sandwich the hair in between the metal so that it actually like like properly heats up the hair and allows the curl to stay for longer whereas if you just get a wand then really you're just stuck with twisting the hair you can I guess do a flat wrap you're just not gonna get the same kind of pieciness on the ends and the control that you need as when you're using the ones with the handle I don't know <laughs> we'll look it up everything's gonna be linked below when you do click on that and if you do buy anything through my links I do get a small commission okay so this is a tiny tiny one I actually don't know the size of this one yeah this one doesn't actually have a size on it but this is like tiny and I love this one I got it so that I can create I can like really work with curls so I actually have a video I'll link it below where I curl my client's hair because she had really curly hair and I was like let's just enhance it she had really coily curls so I went in and I just wanded her hair using this size actually I wish I knew what size this is I like it if you have a pixie very short pixie very short hair and you just want to create a bend in the hair this is a great size to use obviously you won't be able to use something like this because the hair is just not gonna fit so it's really nice to have this on hand if you have really curly hair or if you have really short hair I think this is a great size and finally the biggest star of the show I don't know if you guys have heard of this this is the curl bar this is like the best kept secret I don't know why it didn't take off this is my favorite way to do beach waves on long hair when I had long hair this was like literally my favorite way to create beach waves like it's so easy and it's so easy on your arm this is amazing you would literally split your hair in half grab the bottom pieces and keep your elbows down grab the hair twist it hold let go take the other piece twist it the other way hold let go keep doing that all the way around your hair head shape and then just around the face you would do away from the face 
tug it, let it go, do the same thing on the other side, tug, let go, and then you would have this like gorgeous beach wave. And then you would just wanna comb it out with a nice white tooth comb. It'll break everything up and it'll give you the most beautiful waves. If you want glam waves, if you want beautiful glam waves, you would just grab the hair, do the same thing, but you do it all in the same direction. So you can split your hair in half, do one side away from the face this way, do this side away from the face that way, and then you would brush it out and then it would just like be the most gorgeous waves you've ever seen. So whenever I'm kind of crunched for time at the salon and I'm like, oh my God, I just need like quick, nice waves. The person's hair is healthy. My client's hair looks really good. I don't need to go through the hair to kind of tame the frizz. If the hair is frizzy and needs extra love, like, you know, when you just need that extra shine and to tame the frizz, I would probably use this because I want to do a flat wrap and really tame the hair with the heat. But if the hair looks good and I just want to throw in a little bit of a bend in the hair, like a carefree kind of California wave. This is amazing. And it's so easy on my arms too. I can take massive sections and you'd still get a wave through it. Like, I don't know why this is so strong, but the wave and the curl comes out so pretty. Like it's so beautiful. This is my favorite curl bar, curl product ever. I link this below. I think it goes for a little over a hundred, about a hundred dollars. And this is, again, this is the same magical size. This is an inch and a quarter. They do come in one inch. You could use it. If you have short hair, you can use the one inch. I prefer this for specifically for people with longer hair. So I'm talking like armpit length and longer and who would really love quick, fast, easy beach waves. I just love this. I use this on all my clients um, whenever they have long hair and I'm just like, I don't wanna just give you a blowout. I just wanna do something really beautiful for you. And I'm crunched for time. Like it's fast. I can do a full person's head in like less than 10 minutes, like maybe seven minutes. I would just do the whole head. It's kind of amazing. So just to recap, one inch and a quarter is your magical size for beautiful beach waves. One inch is good if you have shorter hair. Don't use this if you have longer hair because it's going to make your hair too ringlety. Finally, the one that I have in the salon uh, for curly haired clients and for clients with very, very short hair, this is a great size. This is actually great to have in your arsenal if you're a professional stylist or if you do bridal um, or if you have shorter hair and you just want to learn how to kind of like play with your hair. Although I probably would recommend that if you just have short hair, I think a mini flat iron would be best for you because if you have really like short pixie hair, I think a mini flat iron, which is tiny, it's easy to travel with and it's super quick. That's it for this video, very, very quick. I really wanted to make this breakdown just to teach you guys about different curling irons. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, remember to sign up to my mailing list if you're interested in more educational classes and I will see you in another video. Oh, and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lena Does Hair. Bye.